I'm at Brooklyn Wharf again. It's a Saturday and it's really crowded. It's always crowded here. Got here about uh, quarter to eight and there was about two parking spots left for your trailer. That's the real problem. Finding somewhere to put your trailer. Anyway, today I'm gonna to try and sail over to Patonga, um, behind West Head, over that way. There's only about two knots at the moment, so it's gonna be very slow this morning. Might pick up about midday, and then I'm gonna stay in, hopefully on a mooring overnight on the other side, and then um, come back tomorrow. So that's the plan. So I'm just motoring out with my uh, Torquedo electric outboard. She does the job. So it's going to be a beautiful day. It's already getting pretty hot. It's only about half past eight in the morning. Not a lot of wind. Hopefully it'll pick up later. Quite a few people live on boats over here. Not a bad spot. Thank you. Well, we've got the sails up, but as you can see, the wind is very light. It's normally like this around here. So we're heading down in that direction that's the back of west head there and the other side of that is pit water if you know sydney that's looking back at brooklyn boat ramp and now you can probably see the uh, rail bridge a lot better because the sun's on it now it's interesting if you look across the water here you can see debris floating in a particular pattern right the way across to the other side well that's the tidal stream here and a few years ago when I was kayaking, there was a big flood and there were market gardens flooded and I was paddling here and all along this channel there were floating pumpkins. The most bizarre thing I've ever seen. And they were floating right down there and probably out to sea. Giant pumpkins. And now I hadn't had a drink. I find the best thing for wind telltales is old cassette tape. Down there we see all those boats and moorings. That's America's and Refuge Bay, which is like really popular. It's probably, I don't know, 60, 70 moorings down there, but a lot of them are private. And before the days of pump out tanks, it used to be known as um, Pooh Bay, for obvious reasons. And that's the end of West Head straight ahead. And as you can see, when I say there's a lot of people fishing, there is a lot of people fishing. They've probably been out here since four or five this morning. And just coming into view now, in the background is Lion Island. Well, as you can see, we're completely becalmed. Very frustrating sailing. That looks like wind. I think I see wind. Yes. Uh, change of plan. I'm going to go out towards Lion Island. Now we're sailing. We'll have to tack backwards and forwards. See how we go. It's always a big swell through here because it's really shallow. Normally a metre or two metres. So this is what I like about sailing, a gentle breeze, blue skies, just the gentle rocking motion. It's great. It's Baron Joey over there. See a bit more of Lion Island and the swell. No one around. You can't actually moor off Lion Island because it's a sanctuary, a wildlife sanctuary. And on that side where the houses are, that's Pearl Beach on the central coast, and the sand is uh, your minor. And there's pit water down there. There's 
not enough wind to get around behind it. I might uh, tack over to Baron Joey over there. Time for some lunch. Tuna on a roll. Yum. The wind's meant to pick up this afternoon from the south. Don't know if it will. So that's the back of West Head and the lookouts up the top there. You get a fantastic view of pit water from up there. It's suddenly died and we're just getting thrown around in this swell, which is not very good. So um, we'll head back and then go back to find a mooring somewhere. And I don't know what it was out there, but the swell was terrible. Just just by Lion Island. It's a combination of the tide going out, shallow, and um, the wind direction. It was really, you know, two or three metres, and here it's next to nothing. John and Matthew, just as the world's going bonkers, went for sale, thinking of you. Oh, we're sorting along now. Probably four or five knots. Owning along. Much more pleasant running with the wind. So we managed to pick up a mooring for the night. It's not a bad spot though here. There's uh, three, four moorings, four moorings here. I've tidied up the sail and I'll put the tarp on a bit later when it, uh, the wind dies down a bit, I think. Maybe it's Little Shark Bay. No, it's not a bad spot. Cheers. probably six or seven. Very calm, beautiful time of the day. Last night wasn't too bad. A few mozzies around, but the net worked. Very calm, didn't bounce off the mooring, so that was good. The wind probably won't come up now till about 10 o'clock, so just a lazy morning. Well, we're off sailing again. Uh, it's Sunday, it's now about 10 o'clock in the morning. Very light winds. So there's a lot of debris in the water floating around. I've noticed that last night, so I've got to be a bit careful. That's where we moored last night. Down there is Jerusalem Bay, which is always very crowded, and there's only about three moorings down there. And down around that port marker, if you keep going, you end up at Cottage Point. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Yeah, well there's always one. Later, out of nowhere, the wind's picked up. Probably, it's only about three or four knots, but at least three or four knots. Moving along quite nicely. Yeah. 
you bloody log just there. I'm gonna head over to Tonga Road for this way. So this is Batonga. There's a very shallow creek there that you can get through at high tide if you're in a kayak and it goes to a lagoon. It's quite a big lagoon. I've kayaked there before. Small fisherman cottages at this end of the beach. It's really shallow there and it's a great place to moor to get out of the wind and also to stop for a swim. Fantastic new pub here. People get the ferry across from... Um, beach over there for Sunday lunch. And that's Baron Jerry at the end. So that was Patonga. Okay, so I've turned for home, which is basically straight ahead. I'm doing five, six knots now, holding along. Brooklyn, straight ahead. 